these are the folders that we're going to plan his wedding with. <laughs> so, I've got all the alphabet. Yeah. Right, B, balloons. <laughs> There's a lot of people that think that this would be mad. They think I'm mad doing this and I've got no chance. I think Randy could be a bit of a, a wind-up merchant. I'm pretty sure that we'll spend the next few weeks thinking we're going to have um, pizzas for our, uh, for our wedding meal. Good chance to prove him wrong. It's day one, and Andy's up bright and early on the hunt for the most important thing of all. Obviously, V. Venues. When we have this conspiracy that it's going to take you, like, you know, years to plan it, I think that's just so you, you get engaged earlier or something like that, because it's not that hard. Um, I'm interested in your venue for a, a wedding. Andy wants to give Serena a grand wedding, but he wants it at short notice in the middle of the wedding season. Um, and I'm just after sort of your available dates. Yeah. Don't seem to be the availability now. A bit worrying now, to be honest. My brain's ticking, thinking, oh God, I'm not going to be able to get the venue. Fortunately, he's found a couple of venues with availability. Very grand, yes. What's your first impression then? I really like it. Yeah. First up, Manor House Lee Court definitely has the wow factor. I just wondered if you could see the Bristol City ground from here. Right, the next room is the library, and that's where I suggest we have the ceremony. Where's all the books? They aren't <laughs> they, they went long ago. <laughs> It's a cost for 100 people, which would include the ceremony, the reception, and the evening party, would be in the region of between 90 and 100 pounds a head. That's almost 10,000 pounds, which would leave him only two grand for everything else. At least I've got an idea now. I'm not, not many people are going to be coming to the wedding because <laughs> you've got to pay per head. <laughs> Keep the numbers down. <laughs> With Lee Court ruled out on cost, Andy's got just one other venue to see, at the 17th century Park Estate. It's quite old, isn't it? <laughs> General Manager Geoffrey Crockett gives them the guided tour. If the weather's uh, more inclement, then what I would do is I'd have the reception drinks in one of our two private dining rooms, which are, are here and here, and they link up. The building itself is grade two star listed. And this is built in an old uh, Masonic chapel. And if you look carefully, you can see uh, the old Masonic symbolism with uh, the Temple of Solomon and uh, set square and compass and, and so on around the room. The well-spoken man, he's OK. He's good at his job, I, I guess. Um, I wouldn't say he was on my sort of wavelength. The search needs to go on, but we need to be, <laughs> definitely need to be quick about it. Overlooking the city of Bristol, the imposing Ashton Court Estate was built in the 16th century by a rich merchant family. OK. So this is our main function room, and as you can see, it's all set up beautifully for a wedding that's taking place today. Nice size. It is. It's lovely. All south-facing, so lots of sunshine. I always had this in my mind, but I was yeah. always thinking it's really expensive. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. Like, that's probably what I was just... It's probably why we didn't see it straight away, really. It'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be wicked. Andy's made his mind up, but at £7,000, it would blow over half his budget. He's going to need to do a deal. If we get the venue for five grand, that'd be signed, I reckon. Fortunately, his experience in sales means he has a few tricks up his sleeve. Nice one, right? You give him the silent treatment, that always works. So when they give you the price, just don't say anything. Just sit there and they feel really uncomfortable until they might go, is that okay? And you're like, right, okay. Hey, that's what I like to hear. All right, cheers. Bye, bye. It's £5,066 without a buffet, and it's 5, It's basically an extra £700 for the buffet, and that's all for 100 heads, so. Yeah, it's definitely the one. It's the venue. <laughs>